Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from Holsinger's Fly Shop. Uh, I'm going to get back to basics on this one. We're going to give you a squirmy worm today. Uh, very, very simple pattern to tie. Um, even simpler to fish. I think the only problem with fishing this thing is it's so successful, it's hard to keep the chubs away from it. That was the only problem I had fishing it the other day. Um, just going to use a size 14 uh, Daiichi. 1560 wet nymph hook okay uh, you can use a little bit bigger this worked fine for me that's what I was liking some guys like to tie this on an on a caddis curved caddis hook um, whatever you like to tie it on I don't see a problem with tying it on that giving a little bit wider hook gap that's fine but you don't really need to I fished it very successfully with this the next material we're going to use is we're going to use a uh, squirmy worm San Juan Red, okay, it's a pack of just little rubber worms. This is probably the hardest part of the fly right here, getting the squirmy worm on. You're just going to take one of the squirmy worms out of the pack, and we're going to start this at the, at the up here at the eye. We're going to tie the eye end on first, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this right over top, and I'm just going to make a couple loose laps. We're going to try to keep this on top as best we can. Like I said, this is the hardest part right here. I'm just going to make a couple loose laps, and I'm going to show you why here in a second. If you wrap this too tight, if it wraps underneath, that's fine. I'm going to shorten my squirmy one. Right now, I had the whole thing on there. I'm going to shorten this up to the length I want it, which is about an inch and a half. Maybe an inch. Yeah, I guess that's more like an inch. Okay, gonna cut that to about an inch. Um, doesn't really matter where it lays on the hook. I like it on top, but it's kind of hard to keep it there. You need to wrap it down loosely. If you wrap this tightly, it will break it off. And I'll show you on the back end here what I mean. I'm gonna come back here on the back, wrap it a little tighter. It'll pop right off on you. Okay, so you want to keep it pretty loose. You see how I wrapped it right up to the eye? It's no problem crowding the eye here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to whip finish this off. I want to cut my thread off right here. So I'm just going to put a whip finish on here. Uh, you saw I, I'm going to put a picture on here for you. A nice brown trout I caught the other day. It's fall here. Um, while I'm tying this and man I caught a beautiful sp spawning colored brown trout on it. I'll show you a picture of the next thing I'm going to put on it is a cyclops bead okay now with beads I'm using the multi-ude one you know how there's a, a small end on the front and then the back side has a bigger hole which is a little bit harder to see there but the back side has the bigger hole I'm going to put the bigger hole on on first. So I want the bigger hole towards the eye. I'm going to put the bead on backwards in essence. Okay, and the reason why is I want it to slide up over and I want it to cover that chewy worm like that. Now I don't want to push it out over too far where I'm covering up the eye. I want to be able to tie this on. But I want it to cover up the mess that I have there with the chewy worm. So right behind the eye and then we're just going to tie that into place right there. We're going to tie our, tie our um, thread back on. And we're just going to make a little bit of a ball right behind it there so it won't come back through. Okay, now we're going to tie. You could have left that a little bit longer. That looks a little bit short to me, but the fish don't care. Let's make, we'll just make a longer tail on it to make up for it. Now, same thing on the back end. We're going to start it out loose I'm going to wrap it back here to the bend of the hook and then we'll wrap it down tighter to tie all this stuff down okay now some guys will take they'll actually they'll take and wrap this around here okay and make their body wrapping this this way you fish this fly very much and you're going to see you're going to have a problem with that. These things are not really durable. You catch a couple fish with them, they're going to get tore up. You put that, if you wrap that around the middle of the trout's sharp teeth, they're going to cut that up and it's just going to fray out everywhere. 
So what I like to do is I like to put it on like this, tie it, leave it out the back. Like, like I said here, I'm going to cut this back end a little bit longer to make up for cutting the front end a little short. About there. Okay, now what I like to do is I'll come in with a Hairtron dubbing pink shrimp. I like the color there. I'm going to put it, I'm going to dub the middle of it here with that. Huh. Wind down my thread. I'm just going to put some dubbing on the pink dubbing here. I was fishing this the other day and I went through everything in my box. The water's real low and clear right here, right now. Went through my box and couldn't get hook up anything, and I could see the trout laying in there. I went through everything I had and I remembered I just tied a bunch of these and uh, I thought oh, I'll pull them out and give that a try and no time a couple casts I had one on that's all this to that you're just gonna dub that little ball on there try to keep like I said try to keep this on top doesn't matter where it hangs like this when it gets in the water it's gonna bounce around but just dub that ball up to the bead and then we're gonna come back in and whip finish this off Like I said, you cannot get a much simpler fly to tie than this. It's a very, very simple fly and a very, very fish catching fly. Um, all the materials that it takes to tie this, we have at our shop. We got the squirmy worm and the dubbing and the beads and the hooks and everything there. So if you need any of the materials to tie this, look us up at holesingersflyshop.com uh, for all your fly tying needs. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Holsinger.